that set is for me to decide. Thank you, Mr. Frederick. How do you feel today? No, I know you're not. He is not hungry, Mrs. Bedwin. No, Doctor. You're, you're, you feel sleepy, don't you? No, sir. <laughs> no? Not sleepy. Not thirsty, are you? If that boy's thirsty, I'll eat my hat, sir. Yes, Pardon? sir. I am rather thirsty. <laughs> ah, yes. Just as I expected. Yeah, very natural that he should be thirsty. <laughs> yes, yes. May I get up, sir? <sighs> Yes, I think you may. Uh, uh, take a little fresh air. Uh, don't keep him too warm, Mrs. Bedwin. Uh, uh, but uh, be careful not to let him get too cold. Uh, would you have the goodness? Certainly, Doctor. <laughs> You'll be glad to be up again, Oliver. Doctor, do you notice the most extraordinary likeness between that boy's face and the portrait of my daughter Agnes? I can't say as I do. I only know two sorts of boys, beef-faced boys and mealy-faced boys. And which is Oliver? <coughs> mealy. Where did you find him? Well, didn't I tell you? He was arrested for stealing my pocket handkerchief. What, sir? <laughs> it was all my mistake, and as soon as the shopkeeper told us what happened and the magistrate released him, I brought him back here to make what amends I could. But I must admit, I find myself strangely attached to the child. He is deceiving you, my good friend. So he's had a fever. What of it? <coughs> Fevers are not peculiar to good people, are they? Are they? No, no, bad people have had fevers too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he stole your pocket handkerchief, didn't he? He'll steal more, sir. But he didn't. Yes. What is it? Books you ordered from the bookseller, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Now, I've got some more books here for the return. Now, wait a moment. Hey, come back! Oh dear, he's gone. I didn't particularly wish some books to be returned today. Well, send Oliver with them. He's sure to deliver them safely. If he does, sir, I'll eat my hat. <coughs> oh yes, please, sir. Do let me take them. Oh, um, well, very well, my boy, very well, if you wish you shall. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take these books and say you've come to pay me four pounds ten shillings that Mr. Brown owes. Here's five pounds. Now, it's only just down the road, so there's no need to rush, but I shall expect you back in ten minutes. Very good, sir. Right. Let me see, Mrs. Bedwin. <laughs> ten minutes.